everybody, my name is Ricky Rhino, and today we're actually doing a reaction video. Oh yeah, I just apologize for not not making no video for a long time. I did this stuff. Yeah, but um, I just want to do a reaction video actually. Is this? Oh, make sure. I just make sure it was recorded. Oh yeah, I also got a face cam. I got my face cam back. So, oh, uh, oh yeah, there would be a leak in the the the, 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 the I can't say it right. The leak in the description showing this channel. Ah, uh, this is this is actually Deja doing. Super Deja doing. I like his videos. I just. Actually, I, I haven't even seen this one. I don't know why. Okay, let's just press play. Oh, let's just turn it down. Oh, gosh. Why do I always take a picture? My face cam always taking pictures when I do that. Planet Dolan. From how planets got their names to what would happen if the sun explodes, we answer 10 of your most burning questions about life. Hello there, my name is Shima and I'll be reading out the questions and answers. I'm Danger Dolan and I'm here to blow your mind with truth. It's a me Ouija asks, why does Mars have two moons? Mars is actually the older brother to Earth and did everything first. It finished cooling first, got its atmosphere and rivers first, everything. But it got jealous of Earth's fancy moon girlfriend, so it went out and got two of them. That'll show him. There are a couple of different theories as to how Mars gained its moons, Phobos and Deimos. Due to their makeup, many scientists believe that the moons are captured asteroids. However, other scientists think they form from debris ejected from a major impact. Huh, <laughs> impact. Is that what they're calling it these days? <sighs> Stephen Freeman asks, What's the difference between wormholes and black holes? Wormholes are little holes in space-time that allow you to instantly travel anywhere in the universe. Unfortunately, only worms can fit through them. Whereas black holes are indeed big enough to fit humans, but we can't find them. Man... We just can't find them. Wormholes are theoretical, but it would be like folding a piece of paper, space-time, and poking a pencil through it. A black hole is a single point of intense gravity where not even light can escape, but they can be seen by their effects on nearby stars and gas clouds. Mia Lisa Tufano asks, how did the planets get their names? Everybody could agree on appropriate names, so in the end, some drunk astronomers decided for us for the harmless game of spin the bottle. Instead of truth or dare, it was whoever the bottle landed on became the name of the planet, like Mr. Mars or Miss Venus. Unluckily, Uranus was named for different reasons. Except for Earth, all of the planets were named after Greek and Roman deities. Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, and Mercury got their names thousands of years ago, but the other planets weren't discovered until telescopes were invented. Do you remember that time we decided what to name our planet? Come on, Planet Shima! Planet Shima, Planet- Oh. Dual Knives asks, What would happen if Earth never rotated? The water from half of the planet would run to the other side. People would bottle that water and sell it back to the other half at a steep increase in price. Also, Earth would explode and we would all perish, which I think I should have mentioned first. A single day would take an entire year, and because gravity is higher near the poles, the oceans would retreat from the equator. The magnetic field that protects us from cosmic radiation would be gone, too. The results would be disappointing. Lenka Slivkova asks, What would happen if we were the fourth planet in the solar system? We would have to rewrite all those history books. Do you have any idea how long that would take? There are thousands of them. Tens of thousands. Millions. Why would you wish that upon us? What were you thinking? If Earth were to suddenly swap with Mars, the Earth would freeze over and lose a significant part of its atmosphere. But what's really interesting is that all of the inner solar system would go crazy as interplanetary orbits would get destabilized. Sophie Harper asks, 
Why does Saturn have a ring around it? That's just all the rubbish all those people that live on Saturn dump into outer space because they're too lazy to drag out their bins once a week. So instead they strap it to rockets in order to blast away their problems. They'll pay for it one day, though. One theory suggests that the rings came from when a moon shattered four billion years ago during a meteorite storm. Another theory proposes that the rings are actually primordial gases that failed to form moons when the solar system was born. Carlos of Patreon asks, Why are we afraid of the dark? Because there's like a hundred thousand demons, ghouls, and monsters out there. You should be scared. I'm scared. Always take a fluffy toy to bed with you. It's your first and only defense. When our vision is impaired, we tend to lose our sense of control. This harkens back to our evolutionary ancestors having to be on the lookout for predators at night. Shima, look out! It's a shifty looking tree branch. It, it could give you a splinter or, or something. Good try, Dolan. Good try. If you ate yourself, would you expand or vanish? Funnily enough, this is how some species reproduce. They simply eat themselves until they vanish, and two versions of themselves appear. One who can flip a coin and have it land on heads 50% of the time, and one that can make it land on tails 50% of the time. It's pretty crazy! You could remove pieces and consume them several times, but eventually you wouldn't be able to anymore. So you would shrink an overall mass, but you wouldn't vanish. You would probably get sick from diseases associated with cannibalism, though. This fairy force tastes really weird. Huh. Oh. Oh. Najit Nalfil asks, Is there life outside our solar system? Hey, we tried calling them. We tried texting, email, Skype. Life outside our universe just doesn't want anything to do with us. I mean, we've got drinks, snacks, we're dressed nice. Uh, I guess we're simply not good enough for them. There are surveys being conducted of the night sky to watch for planets and other systems. A few have been found where water could be liquid on the planet's surface. Life as we know it needs water, so these planets could house life. Weeping Angel asks, what will happen if the sun explodes? We'll have evolved so much that the heat will feel like a mild breeze. There's all this talk of the earth exploding or burning or getting crushed or burning. Um, you said that already. Shh, it's my turn. Huh, like I was saying, when the sun explodes, nothing will happen. There, now it's your turn, Shima. Jeez. In about five to seven billion years, the sun will expand out into a red giant, swallowing the earth and obliterating it. However, astronomers predict that all of the water will boil off of the Earth in about a billion years, so we'll be long dead. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good cool one! Well, that's why that I didn't, wasn't expecting that. I'm six minutes and 52 seconds. Okay. Uh. So, guys, remember... Link is in the description if you want to go check out this channel. Also, leave a like and subscribe for them too. Huh.